In this video, we are going to see program to find factorial of a number using recursion. This is the code. So first of all, we have taken function prototype, integer factorial of integer. The factorial function will take a number, integer argument, and it will find factorial. It returns that particular factorial value. In the main function, we have taken n variable, n is input variable and fact is the output variable. And after reading n value, we are calling function factorial in this particular statement. Fact is equal to factorial of n. That means now n value is passed to factorial function is called as well as n value is passed. And in the factorial function, there is a base condition here. What is the base condition? If n value is equal to 1 or n value is equal to 0, then we are returning 1 to the calling function. Otherwise, we are uh, performing recursive function calls that is n into factorial of n minus 1. That means again we are calling the same function by passing argument n minus 1. In this fashion, a factorial recursive function works. Uh, this is the sample output here. Let us say we have given value, input value 5 and uh, output is factorial of 5 is equal to 120. Now we see how we got this particular output uh, and how a recursive factorial function will work. Uh, I assume that this is the given scenario. Now assume that we have given value 4. Now assume that n value is 4. Then factorial function is called by passing value 4. Now in this particular uh, function, a copy of factorial function is created. And uh, here n value becomes 4. Here 4 is, uh, is equal to 1. This condition is failed. Why? Because 4 is not is equal to 1 and 4 is not is equal to 0 then we come to else part here 4 into again factorial function is called factorial of n minus 1 n minus 1 means factorial of 3 again factorial function is called here another factorial function is called by passing argument 3, here n value becomes 3. This is another copy of factorial function. n value becomes 3. Here also 3 is not is equal to 1 and not is equal to 0. Again we come to else part. In the else part, it will call 3 into factorial of n minus 1 that is 2. 3 minus 1 that is 2. That means Another factorial function is called another factorial function is called by passing value 2. Now in this copy of factorial function n value is 2. Again it is not equal to 1 and not is equal to 0. Again we come to else part. In the else part this statement becomes 2 into factorial of n minus 1 that is 2 minus 1, 1. That means again it is calling factorial function by passing argument 1. Here n value becomes 1. Now in this particular case, n value is equal to 1. This statement becomes true. Then immediately it returns 1. That means at this point of time, we are stopping the recursion process. It is returning 1. It is returning 1 to this particular place. That means at this point of time, the recursive, the recursive function calls are stopped. That means recursion is stopped. And 1 is returned. Now this value becomes, that is equal to 2 into, what is f of 1 returning? f of 1 is returning 1 value, 2 into 1. This value becomes 2. And this 2 is returned to, its color that is uh, to this particular statement. Now this value becomes 
3 into 2 the entire value becomes 6 and this 6 value is returned to its color that is to add to this particular point now this value becomes 4 into 6 that is 24 and this 24 is returned to its color who is the color for this function main is the color and this is the point where the factorial function is called and 24 is returned to this particular place now this value becomes uh, 24 and this 24 is passed to fact variable and finally we are printing fact value that is 24 n value is 4 and the factorial value is 24 in this fashion recursive function calls are executed now we see what is the involvement of stack and before discussing that why we have used n is equal to 0 base condition here why because 0 factorial becomes 1 that is the purpose why we have used n is equal to 0 ok when this program is executed initially main function is called and it will occupy memory in the stack all the variables related to main function will occupy memory in the stack let us say in the main function we have taken n value 5 and then it is calling fact is equal to factorial of 5 then a copy of factorial function is created and it will be placed in the stack now in this function n value becomes 5 since uh, 5 is not is equal to 1 and not is equal to 0 it is written it is calling again factorial function with value n minus 1 that is 4 again factorial of 4 this particular copy of function is created with n value 4 here also 4 is not equal to 1 and not is equal to 0 again it returns 4 into factorial of n minus 1 that means again it is calling factorial function with a uh, with value 3 another copy of factorial function will occupy memory here n value becomes 3 again it is calling 3 into factorial of 2 another copy of factorial function is created with n value 2 here n value becomes 2 again it is again it is calling factorial of 1 here n value becomes 1 when n value becomes 1 or n value becomes 0 it is returning 1 now what happens here to which place it returns 1 here now factorial of 1 function returns 1 to its color this function is the color at which place it returns it returns 1 to this particular point Now it returns 1 here and factorial of 1 means at this particular point 1 is returned. Now this value becomes 2 into 1 that is 2 and then this function is removed from the stack and this 2 is returned to this particular place and it is removed from the stack and this value becomes 3 into 2 6 and it is returned to this particular place and this is removed from the stack and this value becomes 4 into 6 24 and this 24 is returned to this particular place and this function is removed from the stack and finally 5 into 24 this value becomes 120 this is passed to this particular function and this function is removed from the stack and finally fact is equal to fact gets value 120 and this 120 is printed and finally main is removed from the stack in this fashion recursive function calls are executed